What's up everyone? I'm Zach and this is Gus. We're here from GreatDaneCare.com. Today we're here to talk to you about something a little bit different than usual. We had the chance to do some hands-on testing for the 5 Smart Color and we wanted to share our results from this testing with you. Now the biggest reason that most people purchase Smart Colors is just simply the fear of losing their dog. They want the ability to track them using GPS in the event that they escape from the backyard while they're out or away and prevent any harm from occurring to them. Now before we jump into the full review, let's take a look at what the scenario could actually look like in the real world. Oh no, Gus! All right, now just to be clear, that was just a test. We're obviously just simulating what could potentially happen in the event that your pet is uh, lost or escapes from the home. In this scenario, Gus is being supervised, so I assure you that she was in no danger and nobody was harmed in the filming of that quick little montage. Now to be completely upfront on the legal side, the Phi team did loan me this collar for testing purposes, but otherwise we're not receiving any free product and we're not being compensated to produce this video or write an article review of the collar itself. Um, now with that, let's jump into the actual review of the Phi Smart Collar. And the first place, rather than jumping straight into the technical details, is just simply when the box arrived. It's a really simple packaging, um, but it doesn't have a lot of waste. It didn't feel like I was breaking into Fort Knox to get the darn thing open. Um, but it was really simple and straightforward. So you open the box, you've simply got the collar, which you can see Gus is actually wearing right here. She's got this, the uh, gray version. There also, also comes in yellow. And in addition to the collar, there's also a quick cable and the charging pack. The charging pack also acts as the base station for connectivity uh, but given that we, the mo one of the most critical features that we wanted to test with the collar here was its battery life. The first thing I did was go ahead and plop it on the charger. Uh, it took about roughly two hours before it was done charging. And then we went through the setup process. Now for the setup process, what this really entails is basically downloading the Fi mobile app to your device and going ahead and going through the install and pairing process to get these connected. Um, not even kidding here, this took maybe two minutes. It was very simple, very straightforward. Um, one key thing you want to make sure that you do is actually allow location services because that's one of the ways in which the Fi Collar actually does its GPS tracking to help save battery life is actually using that pairing feature from your phone itself. Now in my opinion the setup was so simple and straightforward this was a huge win just to begin with. Now the next feature that I'll get into which is probably the biggest driver for why most people are interested in getting one of these GPS collars is the ability to actually track their dog in the event that they're lost. Now, there's a couple key features that really lead to a smart design for this collar that the Phi team did to help maximize its battery life. Obviously, if the GPS antenna is just pinging all the time, it's really gonna drain the battery, and that's gonna become a nuisance for you as the owner to constantly have to worry about keeping it charged to actually maximize or to be able to get the benefit out of the collar for tracking purposes. Now, as part of the initial setup, one of the first things you'll do is actually define your home area. Now what this does is using the Bluetooth connectivity between the base station, which stays plugged in all the time, which talks to the collar itself, is this is what it uses while the dog is around the house to detect, you know, are they present, what kind of steps are they tracking, and translate that all back to the cloud service so you can view this in the mobile app. This means in the scenario that it's not activating the GPS antenna, so it's really saving the battery life um, during this time while they're around the house. Now the second way in which it tracks GPS is actually by connecting to your phone as the owner. So let's say you take your Great Dane or any other animal on a walk here. Um, as you're kind of walking with them, in most cases, we often also have our cellular device in our pockets. So in this case, once again, instead of the, the collar itself using its GPS antenna to try to pull coordinates and triangulate and waste battery, it instead just talks to your phone, once again, over Bluetooth to gather the location and use that to feed into the app to track your walk or the activity of the other steps that are happening there. Now, the third and final way in which the collar tracks location is actually using the the built-in GPS antenna itself. Now, this is pretty straightforward. This has been around for years, but 
The reason why it's so efficient with the Phi Color is instead of using your standard 3G or LTE networks, is they actually use a new they actually use a new protocol called LTE M. Not only is LTE M a really low power technology that helps increase its battery life, but it also actually broadens the coverage by about 20 to 30 percent across the United States in terms of actually being able to locate your animal in a, in a location if they're actually lost. Now with that GPS tracking, let's say if your pet is actually lost, uh, you can simply activate this by going into the app and clicking lost dog mode and that will turn on GPS refresh intervals where every 60 seconds it's going to pull the latest location of your pet and actually paint it on a map so you can track exactly where they're at. Now in our testing we found the GPS tracking to be really accurate and we had no problems whatsoever uh, locating a, a supposedly lost Gus and in reality we actually just had my wife drive off with her in the back of the car while I tracked them remotely to kind of see where they're at and it worked flawlessly. All right, now that we've covered the main GPS feature of the app, I'd like to talk about something else that I actually found personally really helpful and actually surprised me. And that's the activity tracking features. Uh, so think of this as, you know, how often is your dog moving? How many steps are they doing? Just in general, how much activity are they getting? Now for myself, having a Great Dane is a, is a giant breed. You know, she sleeps probably 16 hours a day. So I've, I've truly always wondered how much activity she actually got in. And it was really funny to see the breakdown inside of the Fi app as to how much she was actually walking around or running or playing. Um, as can be expected, you'll see periods, and I'll put this on screen, where she's actually did no activity, so I assume she was taking a nap. And then other cases when we went to the dog park or went for a long walk, the activity spikes up big time. Um, and these are all plotted inside the app on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. Um, so you can use this as just a key way to help kind of identify a baseline for on average how much activity do they get. Um, are they starting to get less activity or more activity? And as a dog ages, this could be a one way you actually know to potentially maybe dial down their food intake a little bit. So as they become less active, they need a little bit less food to meet those energy requirements. Uh, it's really helpful for making sure that they don't get overweight and you know wear out their joints or hips or things like that. All right, now one thing that I'll point out that applies to both the activity tracking and the GPS tracking is that if you do want to take full advantage of both the historical nature of this activity tracking as well as, of course, the GPS tracking, you do need to sign up for the five monthly plan. Um, obviously, it's less than ideal to have a monthly recurring cost associated with the you know, subscription plan to access this GPS data or the historical tracking data, but I think you can really look at this one of two ways. Um, one being the way that um, companies do this is they just sell you a one-time fee for a really expensive collar, which is maybe four or $500, and you're done. Um, it's a big upfront cost, but there's nothing ongoing because the company's essentially built in the margin necessary to you know, make it effective uh, for them to both manufacture and sell the colors. Um, the other approach, which you know, Phi takes and other companies take as well, is to sell you a more reasonably priced color, and you choose to continue that subscription on a monthly basis. So if it's working great for you, keep using it, and eventually, yeah, maybe you do approach that, that all-in cost of you know, four or $500 in a couple years. Um, or if you don't like it, then frankly, you can cancel a subscription and walk away and actually have saved yourself money. Um, so in many ways, it, it puts the onus back on the company to ensure that they're providing a, you know, a good service that stays modern, stays up to date, stays you know, on par or better in most cases than the competitors that are out there, instead of you just simply having to buy a brand new collar um, for every version and just hoping that it's a little bit better than the last one. So the next phase I'd like to talk about is the actual battery life of the collar. Uh, to be frank, I've looked at collars in the past, and the, the biggest turnoff for me was always the, the lack of battery life. You know, it's always seemed like the best collars, they'd last for a couple days, you know, three days, four days, five days, maybe a week if something miraculous happens, you get really lucky. And to me, that always seemed like the inconvenience to the owner, which just made it seriously not worthwhile to kind of deal with the tracking, just because it's one extra thing and you know, an already busy life that we have to keep up with, just to make sure that it's always charged and always working. And then you couple it with the fact that if, if the battery does die that quickly, you know, if the dog's lost and takes you a bit of time to locate them, that GPS may actually drain the battery just in the process of tracking them. Uh, so the battery life is critical, not just for the convenience factor, but also if you actually do need to, if it does take a lot of time to find them, it needs to have enough battery life to actually give you the time to, to locate them during the rescue process. All right, so here it comes. So at the time we're writing this article, off of that initial approximately two hour charge, it has been 30 days and the battery is not dead. In fact, it's not even close to dead. At this point, we've got over 50% of the battery life still left. So at this rate, just kind of using normal usage of, you know, Gus spends most time around the home, we go on walks, we go on outings, 
you know, occasionally she goes out with my wife for then is using the GPS antenna to ping her. You know, we're looking at over two months of battery life here. Like this is this is incredible considering how small it is, and the initial charge time being pretty reasonable of a couple hours. Um, this to me kind of makes it like frankly a, a worthwhile consideration. Like this is a doable thing to me as an owner to say, okay, if I can charge it for a few hours and it works for several months, and I get all these other benefits of things like activity tracking, GPS tracking, now that's awesome. Really helps give it an edge in the battery life compared to the other competitors out there on the market. All right, the last aspect that I'll be reviewing of the collar here is just simply the, its appearance and build. Um, so the nice thing about the collar, if we take this off here, Miss Gus, is that it is really well built. Um, it's got your kind of expected nylon webbing that's incredibly strong. I mean, this is literally what people use to hold themselves up when they rappel off buildings or things of that nature. So really strong, really durable material. Um, right now, as you kind of look at this one, it only comes in a kind of silvery gray color as well as a yellow one. Um, so you're a little bit limited on the color selections. Um, maybe file will improve this over time, or I'm sure eventually you'll see kind of third-party manufacturers spring up with their own custom collars. Uh, it is actually pretty easy to swap these. Uh, the collars off the actual main chip, which sits in the middle of all this. Uh, but the rest of the components, you know, they're made of metal, they're really durable. Um, they'll definitely last you, you know, probably a decade or more, frankly, uh, even with the dog wearing a little time, going swimming it, doing anything. And then in the middle here is the actual tracking unit. Um, so compared to some other trackers, you'll see this one's actually really slim, really lightweight, but it still has a good kind of heft to it that makes you think that it's going to last and not just be a cheap product that's going to break in a few months here. Um, I would have no concerns about that with the five smart color. Um, it seems like it'll last for a while. The other thing that's really nice in this case, as you can see, Gus is a Great Dane here. She's got a pretty big neck. Um, I mistakenly thought that the, the collar that she would need from a size perspective was the extra large. So the collar does come in four sizes. That's a small, medium, large, and extra large. Um, you can look on the FI website for the different sizing guidelines. This is actually measuring the diameter of the dog's neck. Now, uh, the one I got for Gus is a little bit too big for her, uh, but that's okay. This is just a quick test anyway. Now, with all that in consideration, my overall impression of the FI collar, this is a fantastic device that's been truly adapted to kind of use the best of all the modern technologies and give the best experience both for you as the owner as well as the pet themselves. Now with any product, I still think that there's definitely, you know, there's a few areas for room for improvement, but overall, once again, I think this is a fantastic product that any concerned pet owner who wants to have the ability to, you know, track their dog's location, event they're lost, monitor their activity, you know, these are all great things. And as I kind of mentioned earlier about, you know, the, the beauty of the, the ongoing service is that it does force the provider to keep adding value to you as the consumer over the years in order to maintain your subscription. Uh, so I don't have a lot of details yet, but the FI team did, did mention that they are going to be building in some social features to the platform as well. So things like being able to sync up with other dogs that your pet might be friendly with as they go on walks or trips to the park. You know, they're going to keep improving the, the general service as a whole, but also adding in other layers to make it more helpful to you uh, as, it, as time goes on. All right, now if you're interested in more detail, you can check out the full-blown review that I wrote up over on the website, and that's at greatdanecare.com slash FI. And you can also see links in the description below. Until next time, stay Danny, my friends.